In this tutorial, we show you how to model rope extremely quickly. And you could also braid hair the same way, I guess. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, step number one, select your default cue, press X and delete. Then press numpad seven to be in top orthographic view, press shift A, and we're gonna use a mesh known as a circle. Press R to rotate X on the X axis 90 degrees. And once you've done that, press numpad 1 for front orthographic view. You can zoom in now by scrolling in with your mouse wheel. Press G to grab it, X on the X axis and type in 1. And once you've done that, press numpad 7 to be in top orthographic view. Press shift D, right click so it goes back into place. Press R, 90. Undo, pardon me. You've got to change to your 3D cursor, then press R, 90. Click, Shift D, right click, press R90, click, Shift D to duplicate, right click, R90, click. And just like that, we have four cuts. Select them all, press Control J to group. And just like that, everything is looking good. Don't forget to press Control S, sorry, Control A, and apply all. Once you've applied all, go to your modifier properties, add modifier, and we're gonna make use of a screw modifier. And we're gonna put on the Y axis, or let's leave it on the Z axis for a second. Change the screw to eight. And just like that, we have a beautiful rope looking thing. And we can just increase the iterations as much as you like. And if we wanted to follow along a path, we just have to press Shift A, curve, and Let's use the Bezier curve. Zoom in, press S10, I guess. And then select your, your screw. Let's rename the screw, or rope, sorry. The rope that uses the screw modifier. Add a new modifier, the curve modifier. And select the Bezier curve that we just added. And choose Z axis. And you can see it go all the way out there. In fact, it's much longer. Let's reduce the iterations to four. And let's select our Bezier curve for a second. Press tab, go into edit mode. And you can obviously right click, subdivide, add as, as many subdivisions as you, as you like. You can ramp it up as much as you need to. And you can also move things into place where you feel they should go by selecting each of these individual points. And obviously, if you want to increase this, press tab, go into object mode. You can just select your rope and just increase the iterations to fill whatever distance you want it to fill. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make rope. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.